discontent is a good thing. And discontent definition. If, that, if by that you mean like unhappy. Yeah, a lack of satisfaction with one's possessions, status, or situation. No. So, I don't think being no lack is a good thing. Yeah, I was gonna say being. I think it's, never I think it's good to be aware. I think it's good to be aware oh, of your position. He's saying le- never satisfied. Oh Ooh. right, okay, okay. Um, no, no. Well, you think it's? I, I think it's a bad thing. That's what we're it's... talking about. You know, you have to, to to live within your means and to be appreciative of what you of what you have. Like we said. Because you don't need the millions to be happy. Yeah. Like the lack of satisfaction is only going to drive you to be greedier. That's what I think. I think like I think it's good to have drive. I think it's a really valuable skill. Like especially someone who wants. So if for example, if you want to be like an entrepreneur, right? Yeah. You need drive and you need that sort of like ambition. Yeah. But to never be satisfied is like almost like naive. Yeah, it's almost like it's, it's dangerous. You can you can get to the very very top. Like thinking that you can be like number one is just naive, and frankly, it's sort of like a means to an end. You're never gonna get there, and all you're yeah. gonna do is find failure. It's like the idea. So if we relate it to something that's familiar to you, Ben, it's like trading stock. Yeah, and investing in a business and seeing it go up and up and up. Yeah, and then never ever ever taking out because you're just thinking, oh, it's just going to keep, keep going. getting up. Yeah, greed. Yeah, but eventually it crashes. You yeah, know? today you, you got too greedy. Yeah, you got too greedy. And yeah, then yeah, You're yeah. gonna get. You you'll have to deal with the repercussion. So, but let yeah, me. That's my opinion. You what if I flip it. it on you? So, I've experienced this both ways. The example you just gave, but also if you're competing in any sort of sport. Or whether it's esports as well, you need that mindset, right? Because if you get satisfied where you are, let's say you're top sixteen, or let's say you're to make it easier for people, let's say you're playing, you know, amateur level or you know, semi professional. If you're satisfied with that, you're never going to be become a professional because you don't. You're, do you you're satisfied with being where you are. You have to have. I I completely agree with you. In life, you have to become satisfied with certain things but for this example if you want to be a competitor you have to not be satisfied with where you are because you're always trying to improve and be better than you were yesterday okay l- let me phrase it this way i think wanting to strive for more is a positive thing but being satisfied with where you are along the way is necessary because you're constantly striving for more and have no satisfaction you're not going to be happy like okay you say like you're just going to enjoy striving for more but i don't i don't you know i don't understand how people could you know enjoy that on its own do you know what i mean like in, in independently yeah if you're sort of like i don't know like if you're not appreciating what you have how how i just i feel like there's something missing 